Hello, my name is Robert, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a non-destructive way of hard edge modeling. Normally, hard edge modeling involves adding loop cuts near to the edge you want to make sharp. With this method, I'll actually be using modifiers, especially the bevel modifier and some other tricks to make it look very nice. And what's really good about this method, especially not only being non-destructive, but you can also um, change how sharp an edge is, which is very useful, especially for realism. So I made this gun entirely with this method, as, with this method, and as you can see, it looks pretty decent. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. So let's jump into it. So I made this weird cylinder with some few things going on that will for this for the purpose of this tutorial and we're going to start out by making the shading smooth and as you can see it looks pretty ugly but we're going to change that uh, pretty soon so let's add a bevel modifier and basically what this does it on in the edges it adds like a few other edges just like if you go into object uh, edit mode sorry uh, let's say you select a edge and you do control V basically that's what it does but I'm not going to do that I'm going to do it with a modifier okay so uh, as we, get, we have a limit method with angle and weight and also vertex group although I'm going to be focusing with angle and weight so if you go into the object data, you can check auto smooth. It already gives us some pretty nice results. And if we go into angle and we lower the width to like 0, 0, 2, it already gives us some pretty nice results, especially if we make these segments around 3. So as you can see, that's already pretty nice. And also by taking off the clamp overlap, it looks even nicer but we can change how sharp it is by changing the weight so i'm going to go into the weight and i'm actually going to make the width a bit bigger just so you can see the difference although normally i would do the width small okay so i'm going to go into object mode and i'm going to select sharp edges and i'm actually going to deselect uh, these edges over here because I don't want those to be sharp. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is go into shading UVs and in the edges area, I'm going to mark those as sharp. So as you can see, it already gives us some pretty cool results, but if we go into edit mode, you can change the edge data and you can change what you zoom in and you can change with the mean bevel weight how sharp it is. So that's all for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, it's very, very, very easy to use. And it's very easy to just get a uh, big object, like a big scene or whatever, and make, it, make everything sharp. So I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for any video, whatever, make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.